Hi there, Tegan Lawson with your Car Advice News Update back in the garage this week. Here's what's been making headlines. Coming up, a new sales leader in November, plans to ban diesel engines and what a car looks like completely covered in LEDs. First up though, the 2018 Holden Commodore has been revealed. The 2018 Commodore made its first official appearance online ahead of an Australian market debut in 2018. The new model will be the first fully imported Commodore and is almost identical to the new generation Opel Insignia Grand Sport unveiled at the same time. Most of the range will have 2-litre four-cylinder turbocharged petrol or diesel engines go by V6 and V8 except for the flagship model that will have a 3.6-litre V6. Meantime, just hours before the official picks were released, the 2018 Holden Commodore liftback and wagon were caught out with hardly any camouflage, filming a promotional video. The new Alfa Romeo Giulia made its first appearance in Australia this week at the opening of a new flagship showroom in Melbourne. Positioned as a proper rival to the likes of BMW and Mercedes-Benz, including the powerful M and AMG models, the Giulia will make its full Australian debut in February. To the latest sales figures now and two utes have taken the top spots for November. The Toyota Hilux just ahead of the Ford Ranger with the Toyota Corolla in third. The result keeps the Hilux in first place year to date, the Corolla second, Hyundai i30 third, Ranger fourth and Mazda 3 fifth. Most of the Hilux and Ranger models sold were 4x4 dual cabs, that's three times more than 4x2s. SUVs, small cars, nope, Australia is all about the utes at the moment. The new Honda Civic sedan is making its mark for the Japanese car maker since launching in Australia in July, sales have been strong. If you exclude fleet sales, it's number two in the small passenger car class, and that's just the sedan. The hatch is due to arrive in early 2017, and Honda hopes it will further bolster the sales figures. Then, by the end of next year, we'll see the Civic Type R, a hot hatch to rival the Ford Focus RS and the Volkswagen Golf R. Well, so far it's been a record year for Mercedes-AMG, with 4,600 sold year to date. November was a big month, the Afolta Bark Tuny house moving a little over 600 cars, up 18%. The most popular being the C63 range, CLA45, A45, GLA45 and GLE63. Well, the Tiguan was the star for Volkswagen, the medium SUV recording its highest ever monthly sales result. 1,170 Tiguans were sold in November, beating the previous record of 1,107 set in March 2011. And the big guns haven't even arrived yet. The 162 TSI with the Golf GTI's turbo engine and four motion all wheel drive launches next month. It has the same 6.5 second 0 to 100 sprint time too. In other news for the German brand, Volkswagen Group Australia will begin a voluntary recall of more than 60,000 Volkswagen and Skoda models caught up in the emissions test cheating scandal. A software fix is now available for more than 35,000 of those cars, with software solutions for the others on the way. Some may need a minor hardware update too. Meantime, Mitsubishi has issued a recall for almost 75,000 SUVs, ASX, Pajero Sport and Challengers from various model years. There are concerns an end cap on the tailgate gas springs may not have sufficient anti-corrosion coating and the spring could potentially break. Well, I've got to say, I'm very disappointed. The CEO of Mazda popped all the balloons at the party when he said Mazda is not working on an RX-7 successor or any other sports car larger than the Mazda MX-5. So, years of speculation, hints and hope, dashed. Which major cities across the world have all pledged to ban diesel vehicles by 2025? Well, the biennial C40 Mayor Summit was held in Mexico City recently and four cities committed to ridding their streets of oilers in less than 10 years' time. Paris, Madrid, Athens and Mexico City mayors all agreed to the plan to ban diesel. Audi is planning to send a rover to the moon at the end of next year. So the Audi Luna Quattro will pop over to the moon, drive at least 500 metres, examine objects and take three-dimensional and 360-degree images. It's part of the Google Luna X Prize competition with more than $40 million up for grabs. Audi has teamed up with German team part-time scientists to enter. We think that's pretty cool. How about this? A Lexus IS has been covered with 41,999 LEDs for a music video. Why couldn't they add one more and make it an even 42,000? The lighting array has three modes, including one called Music Viz, that makes them work in sync with the music. The one-of-a-kind Lexus Disco Ball was made for UK singer Dua Lipa for her Be The One video. Well, I love the song and I love that car. I'll be back with another hit of headlines next week. Until then, don't drive just to get somewhere. Enjoy it too.